if you are wondering about quantization inside Cubase, you are in the right place. We're going to talk about all of it today. So let's go. Watch me take control. And I wanted to do this video because one of my subscribers on my Spanish channel asked about quantization. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible, but I want to give you the basics so at least you get started and get going with your audio, with your MIDI, and you know what to do when it comes to quantization. Step one, and this is a crucial one, what is quantization? It isn't just about fixing timing errors. It's about enhancing the musicality of your project. It aligns your notes to a grid. And as you can see here on this example, those are not aligned to the grid. If I decided to quantize and I hit Q, which is the quick command for quantize, that's what that's going to do. Okay. So that's aligned more to the grid. And quantization is making sure that everything is rhythmically tight. But remember, this is not just for MIDI. You can quantize audio events as well. What I want to talk about is about this little guy right here, the quantize panel. The way to access this little guy right here is if you go up here where the quantization is and you hit that E, that E, it's what's going to open that panel. And this will give you all the functionalities of the quantization so you can work with it a little bit more comfortably. The other way to access it is go to the edit menu and select quantize panel right there. And in here, you can adjust settings like grid type and even add some swings to your groove. Now, let's talk about inside Cubase soft quantize. What is soft quantize? If you go here to this little menu right there, you're going to see that you get this option, soft quantize on or off. If I click on it, it's on right now. I'm going to deselect it. Now it's off. What it does is, for example, these two notes right there, if I want to align them to the grid with just one click, I hit quantize with the Q, and it's going to align those two notes precisely to that grid, okay? So in case that you don't want to do that and you want to preserve the original feel of those two notes being off grid a little bit, you click on soft quantize right there, and what it's going to give you, it's a quantization that it's a little bit softer than the original one, which is going to align everything perfectly to the grid. So if you click on Q, quantize here now with soft quantize, this is what's going to happen. It's not completely aligned to the grid. Once I click Q, if I click again, it's going to move it a little bit closer to that uh, line. And if I click again, a little bit closer until it hits the point where it's completely aligned to the grid, okay? So it's going to go to several steps of quantization right there because it's soft quantizing, not completely quantizing to the grid. So keep in mind that that's the soft quantize on and off. And of course, that works too with audio. If you click here on this audio, I'm going to go to where that audio is. If you click on soft quantize now, if you click on it, it's going to quantize a little bit, but that's selecting all the audio. In that case, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So what do I do with the audio? On the quantize panel, you need to activate audio warp. If you don't activate this, it's going to quantize the audio event to the grid, not the actual audio, okay? So once you select Audio Warp, now if you click Q, it's going to align that audio. And if you select, of course, Soft Quantize, it's gonna do it softly, right? So that's going to select the audio and going to quantize the audio. If you click Soft Quantize Off, you click on it, it's going to quantize directly to the grid. You can select a preset here for quantizing. Right now, I have 116th uh, triplet, but you can select whatever you want. 
the higher you go in numbers, the more subdivisions you're going to have on the audio. And let me explain this. You see these lines right there? For example, the two, you can see a pretty obvious, but we have one here, two, three, four, five. And that's going to give you the quantize because we're in triplets. If I switch this to 16th, now that changed. Now it's one, two, three, and four, right? If you hit 32, now that's going to subdivide even more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And if I go to 128, it's going to go crazy. It's going to give me more subdivisions. So the higher the number, the more subdivisions you're going to have for quantizing. And the higher you go, if you click Q, that's going to align to the right and closest grid. Okay. So please pay attention to that when you're doing the quantization. Okay. Let's talk about swing. So with audio events, So I'm going to select audio warp and I'm going to put the swing to 50%. Now, if I hit Q, it's going to quantize to that 50%, 116 plus 50% of swing. Now it sounds like this. Before. After. So you see the swing right there. If I hit 100% swing, this is what's going to do. I'm gonna hit quantize again. And this is how that sounds like. Now, if you select all the notes right here and you hit Q, that's going to quantize to the nearest grid as you can tell. Let's talk about some common pitfalls of quantization and that's over quantizing and that can actually make your track sound robotic. So use it wisely. And always, always listen to the track after quantizing. Your ears are the final judge. Don't over quantize. Make sure that you're not just aligning everything to the grid because the human factor, it's something that it's really important. It gives feel, it gives meaning to the music that you're playing. If there's a note that it's completely off, then you can quantize that, but don't go ahead and quantize everything perfectly to the grid because you're going to end up sounding like a robot. The final thing that I wanted to touch is the auto quantize right here. If you select auto quantize and you're recording MIDI, that's automatically going to quantize your MIDI to whatever grid you put it on. But if you want the natural feel, please deactivate it, okay? If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And see you in the next one.